What is going on guys, it's your boy Jacob here, Warface Tico. We are back with another video straight out of Lake Wales in Florida. I got my boys right here. What is up? What is going on guys? What's happening? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I'm trying to get my life yeah. is real. Today we are making a video called Two Truth, One Lie. Three things about ourselves, two of them are true, yeah, exactly. one's a lie, yeah. and no one knows which is which. Yeah. I guess I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go first, this, this is my video. I used to date my best friend's sister. Okay. okay, that's the first one. That's the first uh, one. Second one, I can't watch a movie without eating or drinking something. Like snacks, drinks, soda. And the third one is, my front teeth are actually plastic. Okay. Whoa. That's interesting. These I don't are know. Ones, I don't, can I go first? I think the fake one, or the wrong one is, or the, the lie is that you dated your best friend's sister. Okay. Are your front teeth fake? I don't feel like that's something you would make up as a lie, so I'm gonna say that's true. Did you eat your best friend's sister or did you eat something? I think you have to eat something every time you watch a movie, so I'm gonna go with the same answer as Apex. I think that you never did or you never dated your best friend's sister. I feel like that's something you could easily do. Why do you always give an explanation as to why you think what is what? It's I think important. It makes it more, <laughs> I think it's important to say my train of thought. Details. Details. You can swerve. I think the lies two front teeth, just because I, I feel like you would have told me that story by now. Oh, it makes a smile. No, no, I swear I'm not. I'm just listening. I think that the lie is your two front teeth, the shell. Shout. I'm gonna agree. It's gonna be the two front teeth because those teeth are too similar to the rest of the teeth in his mouth. All right, so me dating my best friend's sister is a lie. Yes. Yes. Woo. I would, I would never do that to my best friend. What the fuck? Yo, let's keep score. Regardless, I got one. I got one. But what if, but what if, like, it was like a. Thing. What if, if your like, best friend wanted you to? I know. That would be too weird, man. If I had my best friend actually enjoying hanging out with him, no, nah, it would destroy their relationship. It would. You guys are never gonna guess which one's real. So. Yeah, we got a paragraph. Yeah. Okay. So the first one is the first time I kissed a dolphin, it spit in my face. Number two, the first time I got pulled over by a cop for speeding, I told him the reason I was speeding was because I had to hurry home to practice Call of Duty. And number three. I pooped my pants in the second grade and didn't go to school for a week because I was so embarrassed. <laughs> go. I think the lie one is where you pooped your pants. I think you definitely told the cop you had to play Call of Duty, so that has to be 100% true. <laughs> the dolphin's so random. There's no way that'd be your lie, that'd be boring, so it's pooped your pants. That had to actually happen, so I'm gonna say it's the dolphin. Honestly, I think it's a Call of Duty. I don't think I don't think he told the cop that you had to go. Like, I do think that he would say that, but I don't think that happened. So I'm gonna go with that Call of Duty reference. Nope, that is bull. <laughs> All right, so you and you, Blaze again, Tommy. You guys are both wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The first time I ever got pulled over, a cop stopped me. I was freaking out. It was right before an event. I was playing on NBS like a Philly, and I said, "Hey, I gotta go home and practice." The cop said, "Well, that's not a valid excuse. You don't have a girlfriend." giving birth in the hospital, you don't have any emergency, you're gonna get tickets. So that was real. Um, and then it's between kissing a dolphin and pooping my pants in the second grade. So, um, you know, I pooped my pants once before, but it wasn't in the second grade, so that's obviously Two points, boy! Let's hey. go! I was the shortest kid in my eighth grade class. I was born in the backseat of a car, and I've held the most famous sloth in the world. I, I know we talked about this earlier. He really wants to go meet a sloth on camera. He's told me he's met a sloth. I don't know if he's the most famous sloth. Is there a famous sloth? There has to be one famous sloth. There has to be one. Like there's that one picture. Blaze gets the type of guy that would acknowledge. He would sloth. totally find us. If there was a guy who could find the most famous sloth, it'd be him. So I'm gonna say the uh, the backseat. The backseat's a lot. I'm gonna go with the backseat as well. What was the first one? The you shortest kid in the class. Oh, uh, it's impossible. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the backseat. Uh, Three points down. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that he was a jaw oh, to the backseat. I'm gonna say he was the shortest kid in eighth grade. I don't think you met the most famous sloth. I think that's a lie. Alright, well let's start with that. I did meet the most famous sloth. Damn. I, met, I met Lola the sloth. What's up? Yo, she what's she up? was on Ellen and I got to like hold her and play with her and shit. And so I think I would have known that. She's like the, let's go. What's no, I never made a video about it. It was the lie. What is the lie of the eighth grade? And the lie was backseat of the car. Yeah, yes. uh, three actually, points. Tico, Tico was right. So Apex is three for three. Uh -huh. He's killing oh, it. Oh, it's three foot three. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 yes. Part one. Yeah, that's the first line. I hiked two miles down the Grand Canyon, and then with no ropes, nothing but a bag of chalk and some climbing shoes, I climbed straight back up. Number two, my favorite maneuver on a motorcycle. 
is grabbing the front brake and stopping out to a stoplight. Favorite move. You mean like back full front wheel? Front wheel only on the ground, <laughs> up to a stoplight. Number three, I dated not one, but two girls at the same time, and they were twin sisters. Okay, can I go? I'm first. <laughs> That's definitely a lie. He's too nice to do some shit like that. To date two twin sisters. I 110% disagree, but I think the lie is the is the frontwards wheelie because I I believe that you would do that, but I feel like you would have showed off with that already if you could do that. All right, so I'm gonna go with the uh, the shortstop wheelie. All right, I'm gonna say that's a lie. Tico, I'm gonna go with dating twin sisters. You make everything sound so real and true. I gotta go with the dating twin sisters. That seems like more bad. As, you, as you, much you, as it pains me. Ooh. No, I do that. <laughs> I did date twin sisters. I'm sorry, honey. I hate telling this story. I'm married now. <laughs> wow. I did it one sister, then I did the other sister. Hey! No, I kind of did it both together. May I ask, did you accidentally date the other one and you thought that was the first one? Or did you? They are, were almost identical, but one had the same hair. And they're awesome people, and I still think they're really rad. We're still friends. So the lie was the stoppy. I am terrified. First one is that I got scammed by a billionaire. Second one is that I got in like a minor car accident. I don't know if the camera can see it. When I was little, and I got a scar. The third one is that I've been like arrested, handcuffed. Okay, I know this one, easy peasy kid. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy apex. You got a scar as a kid. That's a lie. Okay. That's it, that's a lie. I agree with you. The lie is obviously Apex B. And I think that the lie is actually that he didn't get that scar from Croxton, but I'm not sure, because he asked me that story one time, but I forgot. I really don't know. I'm stuck in between the last two that you gave us. I'm actually pretty overwhelmed because I don't know. So I'm gonna pass. No, you oh, can't, can't pass. Bro, what? You can't pass. There's no passes in this I'm game. I'm pretty overwhelmed, so I'm gonna pass. <laughs> what the fuck is you that? Mean, what is your I pass? can do whatever I want. It's not some life and death question. Just you pick just... one. Dude, I'm not. I'm passing. <laughs> okay. All right. Car accident. This is Paul. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been handcuffed. I can't really talk about it. I did nothing wrong, I'll just say that. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what he all said. I did nothing wrong, it wasn't right. me. Believe what you want. All right, um, got shit my pants when I was 15. I got suspended, my freshman year in high school, I got suspended a total of um, 11 times. When I was in Brazil, one of my dogs jumped out of the window and killed himself. He definitely shoot his pants. He definitely got 11 suspension. That's the fake one. Yeah, I gotta agree with you. I would have heard about this last before. He's fake. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I have to agree. As much as I'm gonna say it's the suspensions, you probably have like 35 suspensions. He loves dogs too much. You did not shoot your pants when you were 15. Okay. Did everybody else answer? I think so, yeah. Tell me. Alright, you guys are all wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, the lie. Is actually, um, I got I did, we got suspended 11 times when I was a, fr a freshman. Dog killed himself. My dog killed himself. Yes. Oh my god! Wow. Sorry for laughing. By the way. Sorry, sorry for laughing. Listen, that's a very, it's a very like out of this world like thing to think about. But this is what happened. So we were on the way to my grandma, like my Never. grandparents' house. On the way to my grandparents' house, me and my mom. I was in the back seat just sleeping because it's like an hour drive, and I was really young. My mom was driving, my dog was in the passenger seat, like out the window and stuff, and we were going down this long road, um, mainly surrounded by woods, and then towards like near the end, my dog just jumped out of the window, like went into the woods. My mom was looking for the dog for like, I don't know, close to an hour, and then I woke up. Like during the last 10 minutes, I, I was like searching also with her, and then we found him, and he was half eaten by ants. Ah. Oh, that's terrible, dude. Rest in peace, Toto. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for these guys for hooking it up with the video as well. Also, make sure to check out the link in the description for a meetup we are doing the 16th now on Wednesday. That meetup. Central Florida. Right here in Lake this room. Wales. We're making this video. See you all there. Woo. Peace out, everybody. See you guys.